Hello, Dr. Rubens. This is Marcy Frumker from the International Women's Air and Space Museum. Thanks for taking time for some questions. I understand that you'll be launching to the space station on your birthday. Is this the best possible birthday gift for an astronaut? Yeah, I can't imagine a better way to spend your birthday than, than launching to space. So I'm, I'm sure there's others that have done so. I'm pretty excited about it. Understandable. And on your first mission, one of your spacewalks was to install the first international docking adapter for a commercial crew. And now you're going to be welcoming the Crew-1 astronauts shortly after you arrive. Uh, how will more crew members be important to the ISS? It's going to be great to watch the Crew-1 crew uh, come through that hatch. And we definitely welcome them on board because with more crew members, we can spend a lot more time doing scientific research and experiments. Uh, there's a certain amount of time we have to devote just to station maintenance. And with only one or two uh, U.S. And, and international partner crew members, it's hard to get all of the science done that we want to do on board station. So having all these extra crew members there means we can accomplish that much more scientifically. And with this being your second long-duration mission, what are you most looking forward to this time? Any particular experiments? I am really looking forward to continuing some of the work with the DNA sequencing. Uh, so we have some more plans to expand on that. Uh, I think there's a lot of work that we can do looking at the microbiome of the space station. Uh, we do a lot of these kinds of projects down here on Earth. We call it microbiome of the built environment. Uh, and we've got this incredible built environment that's been off the planet for 20 years. So I think it's a really unique opportunity uh, to look at the microbiome of, of this object in space and see how it changes over time. And 20 years ago, when you were a virologist and Expedition 1 launched to space, uh, do you think you'd be living on space station to celebrate the anniversary? And do you have something special planned for the anniversary? Yeah, uh, never in my wildest dreams did I think I would actually uh, be in space 20 years ago. Uh, so I'm, I'm incredibly excited and just really honored to be part of the, the 20th anniversary uh, of the International Space Station. And NASA has a lot of things that are going to be going on uh, around that time. So start looking for that in October and, and certainly as we approach the anniversary in early November on the NASA.gov website, you'll see all of the various activities that we're celebrating this pretty historic occasion. And you're launching, of course, during this pandemic and will be off the planet for six months. As a scientist, what do you think Earth will be like when you return? That's a great question. I think with the pandemic, things are changing pretty rapidly. Um, I do think there's a lot of hope for uh, things in the vaccine world. We're seeing a lot with uh, therapeutics, for example, monoclonal antibodies. And so I, I think in six months, uh, we'll have made a lot of progress scientifically. I'm not sure that things will be completely back to normal. I think we might still be uh, practicing physical distancing and wearing masks, all these kinds of things. You add them together, and that's going to help us solve this pandemic. But I am Looking forward, even from space, uh, I can get some scientific journals and read about the latest advances uh, that folks in laboratories on the Earth are, are coming up with to combat the coronavirus. And what's your advice for youngsters who see you as a role model and want to be an astronaut or a scientist like yourself? Yeah, I think it's great. If, if kids are inspired by science, when you're, when you're thinking about your career, you want to pick something that you love. You don't want it to be a drag. You want a job that you wake up and you go to work and you think, I'm so excited to do this. I can't even believe they're paying me for it. And I think I think science and I think space fit those categories. Uh, when, when you wake up and you get a chance to work at NASA, you get a chance to be an engineer, work on uh, a vehicle that's going to fly to space, work in mission control, talk to astronauts that are on board the space station, okay. design an experiment that's going to space. All these things are so incredibly exciting. And so I think if Kids are interested, get involved, get an internship at NASA, study in a laboratory, find out if there's a university in your area that will take high school students. There's so many things uh, that you can do, even, even as a young student, to get involved with space and with science. And is there anything in particular that you're bringing up with you um, on your mission uh, that you're taking up with you to space? Yeah. Um, I'm going to just lay my nerd cards out on the table. I'm bringing some pipettes. We are looking at uh, multi-channel pipetting to see if that works. I've got some more scientific equipment. I did some experiments on pipetting uh, the last time, and we're going to try to do some more with the microbial sampling in my free time. 
Very good. Well, thank you so much for your time, and I wish you all the success in your mission. Yeah, absolutely. Great to talk to you.